You know, I don't even know if this video is going to make it onto the internet, but if it does, it will probably be the trashiest thing I have posted to date. Which, in that case, go me. I don't really do trashy stuff enough. This would also be a good time to mention uh, that I have never professed to be a family-friendly channel. <laughs> Hello everyone! Recently I bought some dildos online to use for their intended purpose. But as the saying goes, when you've got a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And the equivalent for that is me is every time I see two relatively straight looking objects, I wonder can I knit with that? So that leads us to what we're going to do today. We're going to knit with some dildos. They are not the same material because, as I've mentioned, I did not buy these intending to knit with them. <laughs> but that's what's going to happen today. We're going to use some thicker yarn because somehow I think the thin yarn is not going to cut with how thick these guys are. And it's just going to be another knitting video. but with sex toys, because I can. Because I'm an adult and no one's saying, hey, Becky, think about this for a moment. I'm on COVID watch at the moment, so who knows? Like, I care passionately about things, but some things I care less about. Boy, this is not liking the silicone at all. I feel I imagine the silicone will feel good inside of me, but I don't imagine like the yarn is like liking it that much. There we go. We got five stitches on the dildo. And there's the first row. I mean, I could be making a bunch of trashy jokes, but this is already pretty trashy enough, isn't it? <laughs> um, I mean, when I was in college for round two, I would spend a lot of time, like, watching, um, not watching, looking at um, various art exhibits of students because I mean I was an art history major it made sense that I would go and like look at artwork and uh nine times out of ten when a condom was involved in the artwork it was purely for shock factor it's like oh my gosh it's related to sex and I used it for art <gasps> it's like was there actually a meaning in the condom besides just the fact like oh my gosh, look at this taboo item I'm using for art. And most of the time, the answer was no. I guess this video is very much the same thing. There's not really any large meaning behind this other than the fact it's two long, straight objects. And the fact that I'm probably going to be a bit hesitant about even posting this is the fact that I'm using sex toys. for that op for that purpose. It is gliding on the glass better. But that's not surprising. Glass is pretty smooth. Even though this was specifically made to be textured and ridged, I mean there's a difference between textured glass and glass so sharp that it cuts you. And obviously something that is going to go inside of you, you don't want it to be so sharp that it cuts you, honestly. It 
think I got one more row on this. Now you may be asking, Becky, do you put all your sex toys through this rigorous thing? And the answer is no, because I don't see how I can knit or crochet with a vibrator. It'd be fun to try. Well, honestly, what I would like to see, so... Um, there's this Beach Boy song called Good Vibrations, and I would like to see someone create the music for Good Vibrations using only vibrators. I'm putting this idea out there because I have no idea how to do it myself, but it's something that I would like to see out there. Um, yeah, I attempted to Google that on YouTube and like... Uh, all I got was someone's weird art project. <laughs> there we go. So I guess the question is, can you knit with dildos? Yes. Does it look good? No. <laughs> I mean, clearly dildos are meant to go inside. They're not necessarily meant to do too much maneuvering. Or at least maneuvering in this fashion. Anyway, uh, that was today's entertainment. I'm going to go crawl into a corner. Have a nice day.